Astronomers will sometimes talk about the observable universe. And what that means is, from our vantage point in the Milky Way galaxy, there's a specific distance that we're able to see out to. And that distance that we can see out to includes everything that has emitted light that has had time to actually reach the Milky Way. If the universe is infinite in size, but finite in age, then we're only able to see out to a distance that's equivalent to the age of the universe. Currently, we have confidence that the universe is 13.7 billion years old, so that it's been expanding for that amount of time. Anything that exists beyond that distance in light years, 13.7 billion light years, would not have had enough time to reach the Milky Way. And so our observable universe is defined as a sphere around the Milky Way that has a radius of 13.7 billion light years. In an infinite universe, that is an infinitely large universe, things can exist outside of that distance, outside of our observable universe. So there's the observable universe versus the entire universe. Our observable universe doesn't contain the entire universe. It's specific for us and our location in space-time. What if there's a galaxy that is outside of our observable universe? It is possible for that to happen. How big is their observable universe? Well, we think that all locations in space-time have the same age. That is, uh, every, every location in space-time has been uh, expanding away from every other location for the same amount of time, 13.7 billion years. And so this other galaxy that is uh, outside of our observable universe would have its own radius around it, its own observable universe of 13.7 billion light years. If our observable universe and their observable universe do not intersect, at this current moment, we would not be able to see each other. A galaxy that exists just on the edge of our observable universe would have a radius of its own observable universe around it of also 13.7 billion years. And if you existed on the edge of the Milky Way's observable universe, you would also see galaxies all around you. You'd observe expansion. It wouldn't be the case that you would uh, just see galaxies towards the Milky Way and then empty space on the other side. That doesn't make sense at all. Each location in space-time has its own observable universe, and that's defined uh, from the age of the universe itself and that particular location. 